motions of the earth class 5 social studies by the end of this chapter you will get the knowledge about the earth's axis rotation causes day and night revolution leap year how the seasons happen and the rhythms of the earth's movement the earth spins on its axis let us do an experiment to understand what an axis is you need a bangle and a table tennis ball spin the bangle you will see a central line around which the bangle spins this is its axis the axis does not exist it is an imaginary line now spin the ball it will also spin around an axis but you will not be able to see it the earth's axis like the ball the earth also spins or rotates around its axis we cannot see this axis look at a globe which is a model of the earth it will help you to understand some more things about the earth the axis of the globe is tilted means slanting it is not vertical the axis of the earth is also tilted in the same way the axis of the globe passes through the top and the bottom of the globe in the same way the axis of the earth passes through the north and the south of the earth in the north this point is called the North Pole. In the South, it is called the South Pole. The Earth always spins in the same direction around its axis, from west to east. Spin the globe to see how this happens. You can also see the tilted axis of the Earth. The spinning movement of the Earth is called rotation. Rotation causes day and night. The Earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. As the Earth rotates, the parts of the Earth facing the Sun get light. These areas have day. The opposite side of the Earth, which does not get the Sun's light, has night. During the 24 hours that the Earth takes for one rotation, every part of the Earth will have day and night. One complete day on the Earth is 24 hours long because the Earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. The Earth spins continuously, so we have a continuous cycle of day and night. Revolution The Earth does not seem to move, but it is moving all the time. It rotates on its axis. At the same time it also moves around the Sun in its orbit. This movement is called revolution. It takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete one revolution around the Sun. This is why a year usually has 365 days. Leap Year a year usually has 365 days, but the Earth takes 365 days and 6 hours for a complete orbit around the Sun. The extra 6 hours from each year is added up. In 4 years these becomes 24 hours. These 24 hours are equals to 1 day. This is an extra day. Every 4th year, this extra day is added to the year. year with an extra day is called a leap year. The extra day is added to February, so, in a leap year, February has 29 days. A leap year has 366 days and it comes every 4 years. 2008, 2012 and 2016 were all leap years. In fact the current year 2020 is also a leap year. Now, let's see how the seasons happen the change in seasons from summer to winter and then back from winter to summer happens because of two reasons dash 
the tilt of the Earth's axis and the orbit of the Earth around the Sun. The diagram shows the tilt of the Earth's axis. It also shows that the equator divides the Earth into two equal halves. These are the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. This drawing shows the orbit of the Earth. It shows the Earth in two positions on its orbit, in June and in December. Let us see what happens when the Earth is in these two positions. First we will see for the month of June. Take a big globe and an adjustable reading lamp. Place the lamp in the center of a table, it represents the sun. Now, look at the given diagram. Place the globe in the position that says June dot. Make sure that the axis is tilted in the same direction. Turn on the lamp and focus the light on the globe. The Northern Hemisphere has summer in December. The Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the sun and the rays of the sun fall directly on it. The days are long because the sun rises early and sets late. Look at the North Pole. As the Earth spins, the sun never sets at the North Pole in June. So, the North Pole and the areas around it will have continuous day and never have night in June. This is called Polar Day and the sun is called the Midnight Sun. The Southern Hemisphere has winter in December. The Southern Hemisphere is tilted away from the sun. The rays of the sun fall less directly on this hemisphere. Look at the globe to understand this. The days are short because the sun rises late and sets early. Look at the South Pole. As the Earth rotates, the Sun never rises here. The South Pole and in its surrounding areas are always dark in June. This is called polar night. So in June, while the Northern Hemisphere has summer, the Southern Hemisphere has winter. In December, the seasons will be exactly opposite of what they are in June. The Northern Hemisphere has winter in December. The Northern Hemisphere is tilted away from the Sun. The Sun's rays fall less directly on it. The days are short as the Sun rises late and sets early. The North Pole will now have continuous night. Polar night. The Southern Hemisphere has summer in December. The Southern Hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun. Its rays will fall directly on the Hemisphere. The days are long, as the Sun rises early and sets late. The South Pole will have a continuous day dash. Polar day. The two hemispheres have opposite seasons. When the Northern Hemisphere, in places like India, the USA, or Europe, has summer, the Southern Hemisphere, in places like Australia, and South Africa, has winter. When the Southern Hemisphere has summer, it is winter in the Northern Hemisphere. Know the fact. Six seasons in ancient India were identified with the following Sanskrit names. Grisham. Summer. Varsha. Monsoon. Sharad, Autumn, Hainment, Winter, Shishir, The season when snow thaws, and worsened, Spring, The rhythms of the Earth's movements. We have seasons because of the tilt of the Earth's axis, and the orbit of the Earth around the Sun. As the Earth goes around the Sun, one season follows another in a continuous cycle. This happens year after year. The rhythm, regular movement, of the seasons never changes, because the revolution of the Earth never changes. 
In the same way, the rhythm of the day and night remains the same, because the earth always takes 24 hours for one rotation. The rhythms of the earth's movements are important for us, because our lives are affected by the seasons, and by the daily pattern of day and night. Now, I know. The axis of the earth is an imaginary line passing through the two poles, it is slightly tilted. The earth has two types of movements, rotation, and revolution. The earth's rotation takes 24 hours and causes day and night. The earth's revolution takes 365 days and 6 hours. The extra 6 hours add up to give an extra day every 4 years. This is a leap year which has 366 days. The summer and winter seasons are caused by 1, the tilt of the earth's axis and 2, the revolution of the earth. The equator divides the earth into two equal hemispheres. The rhythm of the earth's movement never changes so the rhythm of the seasons and of day and night never changes. Questions for you. How the long nights of the winter affect you? What effect do the long days of summer have on you? Think and write your answer in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.